What is up ladies and gentlemen, I am Random Pro Gamer, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make hydraulic doors and hydraulic windows. For those of you who don't know, it's pretty simple. Uh, I learned this pretty quick. So, what we do when we've got the Q menu? Hmm. Let's see. We grab our prop. This can be anything from basically what can be used as a door. I'm going to just use this standard uh, storefront template right here. So, we spawn one of them in. At least get it to where we want it. Whether it's against a wall, you know, can be used pretty much anywhere. So, say if we're going to stick this over here. We can have it as a standard door. So, say you've got your door where you want it to go. Then we get the ball socket and we tether that ball socket to the wall. And you basically know why we do that. So basically it's got a point to pivot on. And just for the purposes of the video. Then we get the hydraulic tool. Set it to the distance you want it, so Roughly, I'm going to put it to about 69 will do. Do not have it fixed, you only use that for sliding hydraulic doors, which I will be getting into on this video as well. So, we have a point to turn it to. Remember the button that you have set it uh, to open to, whereas my, key, my case is keypad 2, and as you can see, the door opens. You can actually set a keypad with this one. So here we have a keypad set to number pad 2, hold length 5 seconds. Uh, I only have the hold length set to that uh, just due to the server that I play on. And so we hit a keypad, enter the code, and then five seconds the door will open and close on its own so there we have one door let me just clear that and now I'm going to show you how to make a sliding door so for this I'm going to be using the stacker v2 I always have it set to prop so then we'll, oh, excuse the cooldown and here we have four doors. So now I'm going to be using the hydraulic tool as fixed. Uh, I'd say 69 will do at the moment. So we have one tethered on the left hand side to the static point. And then from the right door to the left static point. And same for the bottom. One from the left door to the right static point. And one from the left one from the right door to the left static point. And here we will need to use the no collide tool on the left door to the left static and the right door to the right static and we can just make sure that the, uh, the sliding doors themselves do not actually and wow so that happened oh, can't understand why it happened because that one should have been froze wow that went totally uh out of it. I apologize for that people. Yeah. Right, so here we have our doors. Let's make sure they're froze and then again it will be the same. As you can see the doors do slide pretty well and yes we can add, add a keypad to this make sure you un 
unfreeze your keypad so then when you go up type your code in press enter the door shall open which giving you time to quickly run in close them off uh, you can then obviously use the material you want for some reason these kinda turn into a one way prop which most servers do not allow anyways that's that one and now say if you want some windows or something to that effect so we find a platform um, that is big enough to use in this case it would be this one here uh, right so there we have our door and again we use the ball socket tool that to the wall so it has a pivot point let's just see if it actually pivots properly oh God. there we go so then obviously with with this hydraulic we're gonna need it a lot longer than usual so I'd say about 208 please make sure that the fixed is not ticked uh, your width here would be how long you want your length of your hydraulic to show whereas I set it to zero so then you don't see it but for this purpose I'm just going to put it so you can see it perfectly working right so we hit there and then we hit a space what's what we can see so when I press the designated button to open the hydraulics there you can see it working perfectly fine works good if you're making a garage as you, you can see it all working perfectly fine now that's part of that what I'm going to show you now is say a door working properly so, I'm going to be using construction props and this stuff for one again because it fits pretty perfectly right so back to our ball socket tether that to the wall the wall again at the bottom so then it has got oh, let me just move this a minute Open this door you want it to sit swimmingly on it. Uh, yep. Right, so that's that. Hydraulics again, you want it roughly about 69.75. Anything like that, depending on how big. Right, I'm going to set it to 75 right now. Oh, mistyping. Right, so that's at 75. You can do it to bottom, you can do it to top, you can do it pretty much anyway. As long as it actually has a valid point to tether to. So then when we press the button, there you go. I'm only showing the rope for purposes of, for this video. And here's with it with no width on the actual rope. So there we go. Here. There we go. While that is there, I'm going to do another thing as well, which I'm going to need on the general, a metal plate 2 before. I use Alt and E while holding the prop with the physics gun, so then you can get it perfectly straight. Oops. Right, so I'm going to have that there. And with this, the ball socket will be stuck to this part of the wall. Now I'm not 100% if this is actually going to work nicely. Hmm. <coughs> 
Right, hydraulics again. Let me change this to keypad one. And hit it to the wall. So when I press keypad one, it does open up pretty much like a window. Well, like a blind, should I say. Apologies for the uh, mess up there. Get a bit of extra you want. And then I can just go as simple as come in here, spawn in a keypad, enter in the code. And there we go. I'm actually in. The door will close itself. And for the other one, if uh, the server you are on lets you have access to buttons, I prefer to use the switch on these. Place it there, so then when I turn the switch on, it does it. Then turn it off, and it's back to normal. And I think that is the end of this video. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I am Random Pro Gamer. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video if you want. If you find it's helped you out. Also, you can follow me. Uh, well, you can follow me on Dan underscore Boy underscore 2011 on Twitter, and watch my live streams on Twitch at Random Pro Gamer 2016.